Hello everyone, welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. My name is Janae and today we are going to open this box here that you see. This box I believe comes from Treasure Studios Art and I'm really excited to open it up. So by saying that we are going to crack this thing open and uh, hope that you're all doing really well today. Um, I'm actually not feeling too hot, but you know, it is, it, it is what it is and it's that time of year again. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this box to open up. Now, if this is, like I said, what I think it is, I am super, super excited to show you this painting. that off. All right, so it's nicely wrapped. Okay, so the box is uh, seen some better things. <laughs> it's not horribly bad, but because um, I've seen worse but yeah this this box is pretty sad and this is definitely from treasure studios art i can tell by the thumbnail so let's open it up and reveal which one this is this is a body works painting and i really love the artwork on these so I believe I got everything out of the box. Put that down there. So, oh, so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at the toolkit here. And I really like the way they have everything nicely packaged. It's branded here. I love this bag. So we have, oops. A white tray with a spout, a generous chunk of wax, looks like two pieces, a single placer pin with what appears to be a 10 placer. I'm trying to see if there's a number on this. It's either a 10 or a 9. Um, it's too small for me to tell. I can't. I can't read the number, so sorry about that. Then we have a bright pink comfort grip and a pair of pink tweezers. Ooh, they're the nice round ones, so let's bring those up. Really nice tweezers. And there is also this looks like a six placer and a three placer. So nice toolkit. Put that out to the side. But this is what this is what I want to get into. So first off, I'm going to show you something. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is all scrunched right here. But it's just the corners, so hopefully the rest of the canvas isn't like that, but let's take a look. Oops. Yeah, this, I'm not really impressed with this part, but as I said, it's not affecting the canvas as far as I can see. 
but it's all crunched and scrunched. Not, not very good, but let's take a look. Now, I've been told that you cannot roll this the opposite direction um, as it's not poured glue. So we're just going to roll it out like this. There are your drills. All right. Definitely has that new canvas smell. <laughs> it's not you know, like that stinky smell, but it's it definitely new canvas smell. But I'm okay with that. So <laughs> let's take a look at the drills while the canvas is going to sort of straighten out. So I'm just going to put some stuff on the canvas to keep it from popping up. Boy, this canvas is big enough to take my entire table. Let's see. We'll just put that there. All right. So let's take a look. And then I can show you the image of this painting. Got a few escapees there, but I'm not too concerned. And holy smokes, look at this bag of 310s. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of 310s. But I was prepared for that, and that's 939. But this is 554, and this is one of my favorite colors. So um, let's see, we've got a big bag of 814. Really pretty colors. Um, 666. Ooh, bright, bright red. Ooh, this is pretty. 554. Look at that lavender. It's gorgeous. Oops. Oh, here's my other favorite. <laughs> 550. Look at that. Beautiful purple. Then we got 996. Really beautiful light baby blue. 3607, kind of a hot pink. I think I can swap those colors out with some new drills I just got. I'm not going to tell you what new drills I have. Well, maybe I'll show you. Hmm. I don't know. Um, well, yeah, let's show you. So I got my new AB drills that um, I'm going to be putting in my Etsy store. And I think those swapping those out with these what do you think pretty 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 all right i'm going to do a video on the ab drills that i am going to be putting into my etsy store probably this weekend but that's one of the colors that i'm going to be adding to the entire collection that i've got i'm really excited to share those with you they're so so pretty anyway let's go on <laughs> 3078, really nice pastel yellow. 606, and I do apologize for the glare. 608, 718, really nice hot pink color. 720. And 740, 820, really pretty dark blue. It's gorgeous. Okay, 817, look at that. Brick red, really pretty. 995, another beautiful blue. 3834. 951, 3801, really pretty, 3823, nice pastel yellow, 
854, no, sorry, 3854, 600, 745, really nice, beautiful yellow there, 352, and 917. So those are the colors for this painting and we're just going to collect all of these, put them off to the side. Now this is a great kit for a beginner because they're all in their own individual Ziploc bags. So this painting is kitted up and ready to go. Personally, I like to work out of storage container systems. So it's great to have them in the Ziploc bags but my preference, like I said, is the um, storage containers. Just makes it a lot easier and um, more organized, I believe. But there are a lot of people out there that like to work out of the Ziploc bags. And I am really um, envy them because I just have a hard time doing that. All right, so we're going to put these off here. We have another escapee. All right, so let's take a look at the inventory sheet and I'll show you which painting I have. And there is the thumbnail. Isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to get this one started. In fact, I'm thinking about putting the project I'm working on now aside so I can. <laughs> um, this painting has 30 colors. It is a round and it is a 50 by 80. The painting is called Beyond the Horizon. And again, the artist is John uh, I hope I'm going to say this correctly. Poppleton. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And if I'm not, I I truly am sorry. Um, really nice inventory sheet. Um, symbols look easy to read. The first symbol, holy smokes, I'm, um, hmm. I don't, this is the first time I've seen that symbol and <laughs> I don't know if it's a flower or what it is, but yeah, okay, we, we won't go there. Symbols are basically very clear on the inventory sheet and let's see, how many three tenths do we have? Um, 13,656 three tenths, yee, wow. Um, let's see, and then nine three nines. How many do we have of those? 8,165. All right, so really nice inventory sheet. So let's take a look at the canvas. We're gonna, hopefully, we're gonna take all that off. And hopefully that helped straighten out the canvas. So here we go. Oh wow, look at that. So, uh, sorry, sorry guys for the glare. Oh my gosh, but look at this. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? Wow. This is good. I'm definitely going to kit this up. <laughs> um, okay, so... Looks like those uh, edges that were all crinkly on that side has straightened out. Um, this side, not so much, but I'm okay with that. It's not affecting the drill field, so that's good. Um, drill field looks very clear. I don't see any 
issues as far as clarity there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera so we can bring it down into the business and we will take a look at this drill field, the schematics and the clarity of everything. So hold on, here we go. All right, everyone, we're back. And first we're going to take a look at the thumbnail. So there it is. And that is just going to be fabulous. And my camera does not want to focus on that. Okay, there it goes. Sorry about that. So there's the thumbnail. That is just going to be beautiful. All right. And let's take a look at the schematics. So you can see there where it says 50 by 80. And then there is the legend. Very easy to read. Love the fact that that is a nice sized legend. You can easily see those symbols. And we're not going to discuss simple number one. No. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the drill field. So bring this up and hopefully my camera will focus right into it. And I'm trying to get as much of that glare out as possible. So you can see that the symbols are very clear and easy to read as well. Very nice. And then we're going to take a look at how sticky this glue is. Now I've heard that this glue is fairly tacky, so let's check it out. Holy smokes. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Holy. It won't let my finger go. All right. <laughs> yeah, I need that finger. All right. So we're going to put this sheet back on and protect that drill field. There we go. Left a little bit of an air bubble there. Fix that later. All right, so what I'm going to do is pause the camera one more time, bring it up, and go over this beautiful canvas again, as well as go over my final thoughts. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. And again, I am so sorry for the glare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up like this so you can take a good look at this painting. It is beautiful. I cannot wait. And I just can't get that glare up. Okay, well, we're not going to do it that way then. There we go. So let's take a look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? I just love this image. And... There we go. Isn't that just going to be beautiful? Wow. All right, so we're just going to bring it back this way. All right, so let's go over my final thoughts on this painting. Um, <clears throat> I'm really very pleased with the way the drill field looks. Like I said, very clear and easy to read. The glue is just super tacky and the schematics are really nice it's not too big it's not too small and for some of us that have old eyes perfect it looks great one thing i would say is i'm not like really impressed with the way the canvas was all crinkled up at the edges but i will say this <clears throat> excuse me it didn't affect the drill field. So I'm really very happy with that. The drills look really nice. In fact, um, let's take a look at some of these colors. Now we all know if we're gonna see anything, we're gonna see them in the three tens. So let's take a look at these three tens real quick. And that's if Janae can open the bag. There we go. Um, where is... I need a tray. And I don't know what I did with it. Here we go. So let's take a look at these three tens. Wow, these are nice. 
Um, I do not see any dimples, no garbage. I don't see garbage in this at all. So let's just bring this up so that you can see that. And there we go. Beautiful drills. And like I said, if you're gonna see any garbage, you're gonna see them in the three tens. There is no dimples in those at all. They are fabulous drills. Really, really pretty. Very pleased with this. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna open this up and put them away. And let's look at one more color. Let's see which one let's do 550 this is one of my favorite colors oh my gosh let's see here. oh yes those are really really pretty wow look at those very nice again I did not see any dimples no nubs. These are really, really nice drills. All right. All right, come on. <laughs> I think it's time for me to clean my tray because the drills don't want to come out of it. Come on, out. Go. There we go. Sometimes our trays get dirty or get a residue on there and it's take a little bit of a baby wipe on that and it cleans it right up and the drills start to slide easily. When they get stuck like that, it usually tells you that it's time to clean that tray. All right, put those off to the side. So I really do like the quality of their drills and I'm really impressed with this painting. So again, this is called Beyond the Horizon. It's a 50 by 80, has 30 colors to it, and you know I will be swapping those colors out. <laughs> um, comes from Treasure Studios Art, and it's beautiful. I can't wait to see this done. So for those of you that are interested, I am an affiliate with Treasure Studios Art. I do have an affiliate code and link down below if you're interested in purchasing one of these gorgeous body art paintings and or any of the paintings that Treasure Studios Art has to offer. That code is there for you and it will give you 15% off of your purchase. So again, that will be down below in the description. So everyone, let me know what you think. I think this is gorgeous. So by saying that, I'm going to end the video, but a couple of things I want to go over first, and that is I did a 500 subscriber giveaway questions in a couple of videos back. I will be announcing the winner of that 500 subscriber giveaway this weekend. For those of you that have not seen that video, and I'm not going to tell you which video it is, but you might want to go over there, watch the video, answer the questions, and get yourself set up and entered in that 500 subscriber giveaway. And everyone, guess what? I'm almost at 600. So I'm, I'm just really excited. And I can't thank all of you enough, again, for your support, your encouragement. You guys are the best. And I can't thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. So by saying that, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just stopping by, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell is going to let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So by saying that, everyone, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you for joining me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.